Hello there. This video was suggested by Caleb McCullough. Uh, he said he had questions about from people about where do you get lapping film, what do you use it on, I mean what kind of substrate do you use to attach the lapping film to, how do you attach it to it, that kind of deal. So uh, hopefully, uh, how do you know when it's not any good anymore, that kind of deal. So uh, how, what grids I, do I need, all that kind of stuff. So, excuse me. Anyway, hopefully this is the video for you. Where do you get lapping film? Well, I get my lapping film from a place called Specialized Products. And it's on the net at specialized.net. I'll put a linky down here in the, the uh, description to the page that has a lapping film on it. And you get packs of 25 of each grip. That are nine by six and a half. That's the best deal. There are other places, Thor Labs, you can get it at, but the sheets are smaller and the price is like 15 bucks. And it's just, I think Specialized is the cheapest place that I have found to get it. And so that's where I get mine. You can get them several places online. All you got to do is Google Lapping Film and uh, and you'll find it. It's not that hard. But like I said, I'll put a linky down there. Uh, okay, what grits do I need? Well, there are three grits most people talk about, but there are only two that I use, and the majority of uh, people that I have talked to use these two grits. And first is the three micron, that little UM there, that means micron, three UM polishing film. It's three micron and one micron. You start off with 1000 grit sandpaper to set a bevel, wet or dry. Follow up with a 3 micron and do a final polish on the 1 micron. Now, there are some people that use a 0.3 micron. Uh, this is a really high polish. The 1 micron is at least equivalent to a 12,000 grit stone finishing stone and probably more like 15 or 20,000. Uh, the three mi the point three micron is off the charts fine. And the thing of it is, is I've used it before, but only five or six or eight or 10 passes at max. Because what happens is that uh, you'll get a really fine, sharp edge, but it'll either be harsh or it won't stand up. It'll crumble really fast and, and fall apart and your uh, razor will be dull and grabby and stuff like that really fast. One of the things that guys do to kind of get out away from that is they put uh, copy paper, wet copy paper or a wet Pico paper between the substrate that they use to lay the lapping film on and the 0.3 micron. And what that does is it gives that 0.3 micron paper a bit of give, kind of the same way that a hanging strop has a bit of give. So, Because when you strop on a strop, what that does is when you hone a razor, the edge is straight like that. I mean, there, it's straight. Okay? And when you strop a razor, the give of the strop makes the edge do this and that makes for it kind of rounds it off a bit that does a couple of things it smooths out the edge so that it's not as harsh but it makes it stronger so that it can stand up to more abuse and that's what the copy paper does underneath that 0.3 micron but uh, I have found over the months and months that I've used it that this is more trouble than it's worth, so I don't use a 0.3. That's something you have to make up. Try it, see if you like it, see what kind of results you get. But for me, the 3 micron and the 1 micron are all that you need, all that I need besides 1,000 grit sandpaper. You would set the bevel on the 1,000 and, not, like I say, go through the grits. Now, what do I put lapping film on? What do I use? Well, my personal preference is for this right here. A nice thick piece of glass. You can go buy a glass cutter and get one at the size of your choice. Uh, you could probably find it in this 
cutoffs or scraps or whatever, but it wouldn't cost you very much. Another option is to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get you like an 8x8 ceramic floor tile, something like that. What you're looking for, you're just looking for something that's really flat and really smooth. You don't want anything with a bit of grain. As a matter of fact, my bathroom here has a big counter. Nice. Let me back this up so you can see. Nice full-size counter here. So now, a lot. what I would use, I would use a, a spray bottle. This is Windex, so we're not going to use it. But I would use a spray bottle full of water, and I'd mist whatever. In this case, I would use this counter here. I'd mist that counter. Now, I'm right here by the bathroom, and I don't need it. i got a sink right here. So what I would do is just spread me, make sure that counter is clean, spread me some water on it, and the shiny... Part of this film goes down. The dull part is what does the cutting. Just lay it right here to the edge, like that. Put me a little water on top of it because I want a little lubrication. And then I would take something like a credit card, old credit card or something like that. That's not going anywhere. And you can. Pretend that that is a razor. Not a problem. You can even use your bathroom counter, guys. Or your kitchen counter. The, the idea is, look, all you're looking for is something that's nice and flat and smooth and is not harmed by water. You wouldn't want to use a wooden counter or anything like that that could be deformed by moisture or anything like that. You want something absolutely flat and smooth. That's all, and I guarantee you there are a dozen things around your house you could probably find or that you could use for that. Your kitchen table would probably work. I mean, anything like that. Uh, that's the deal. Now, final. How do I know when I, how many razors can I hone on lapping film on a single sheet? Well, that depends on what kind of razor you're honing. What, and I'm not trying to be funny. But it depends on what shape your razor's in. You know, uh, I've had razors that hone up really fast. And then I've had razors that I would rather take a hammer and beat my brains out as try to hone them. So it's just, you know, I can't really give you a number. It might be six. It might be two. I don't know. The thing with it is, is what will happen is you will, if you've honed any or even like sharpened a, a pocket knife on a stone, uh, when you start seeing the, the, the black, dark, gritty marks in the stone, that's the stone picking up the metal that it's honing off the edge of whatever blade it is you're sharpening. Well, the same will hold through for, the same will hold true for this lapping film. You'll start seeing black streaks in the lapping film. Well, if you get enough of those black streaks on there, and the lapping film's not good anymore. You need to replace it. Or if it's not honing the razor anymore, you need to replace it. And that's the best advice I can give you on that. And I, I hope that I've answered most of your questions and that uh, you see that, you know, it's not that difficult uh, to find something to put that lapping film on uh, and uh, yeah, you've got a place to go get the lapping film at now and hopefully like I say this is this will help you uh, God bless you and uh, happy honing and shaving later